Hey, 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 this is Dr. Charlie here today. Um, today I want to talk to you about presencing, about really bringing yourself fully present for whatever situation you are in. The first thing to do, I talked in a different video about taking three deep breaths. If you can do that, always take three deep breaths. Let's try that together now. So breathe in and breathe out. You can breathe out through your uh, mouth or nose is fine, breathe, but try to breathe in through your nose if you can. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time, let's breathe in together. And breathe out. That's one way to presence. Another way is grounding and centering, which I will I'll take you through in a different video. But just becoming present, becoming um, coming into your core and grounding into the earth are also ways to become present. When you're with another person, I would also want you to notice how you feel. Notice where in your body is kind of giving motion or having life, um, whether it's dread or whether it's joy and happiness. Really being present for another person. If you imagine there's an activity that you can do that that takes you through walking around a room and first you're you know you're super excited and you can do all the motions and gradually one all the bells and whistles get taken away one at a time um, until you really just have to be extremely present for the other person and you do that silently um, without making gestures or facial you know facial motions and without moving your body like with just really being fully present um, it allows people to be seen, it allows people to be heard, even when you can't talk, as it were. Hey, mom. Um, in, but, but presencing is really, I call it the art of being fully present, where you're really tuned in to the other person, where you're really, oh, you're looking at each other and there's this calm understanding. There's an acceptance in presencing. A friend of mine, uh, Sonia Renee Taylor, if you don't know who Sonia Renee Taylor is over at The Body Is Not An Apology, you need to get on that. Uh, at least know who she is, whether or not her energy is your flow. Um, she, talks, she calls it radical presencing. Same activity, I think, or a similar activity where you're really being fully 100% present for what's happening, what the person in front of you or the people in front of you, and kind of what's happening and where. I will always tell you to take it to the body because your body's very reliable. I teach workshops about this. Your body's very reliable in giving you the signals you need to survive. Sometimes it goes into overdrive and that's, you know, there's a lot of brain chemistry that goes along with that too. But really showing up for the person. So that may mean whatever thoughts you think you're going to respond with, they might not be relevant. Um, you can have those thoughts, but if you could put them in kind of a box or a basket, it's over here, that is not really you full on. Um, that helps you be present for the person. Really listen to what they're saying and pay attention to how it's making you feel. If you are adept at reading their nonverbal cues, um, that is part of it too. If, you, if somebody says, <clears throat> I'm happy. You're not going to believe them. Um, those are not happy body motions. When your body is happy, it's a lot more relaxed. It's often a lot more open. So reading those cues as well is another way to be present. And for me, I will, I will almost always point it out. I'll say, well, your body doesn't necessarily look like you're happy. Is there something else, you know, going on here? And that's a different kind of space too. But really paying attention to their verbal and nonverbal cues as well as your own, not um, listening to understand, not listening to respond or react. And sometimes what you think is your response or reaction is completely inappropriate once the person has said or done whatever it is that they're saying or doing. Um, paying attention to yourself. How do, how do you feel in this moment as well? If honestly, if something makes you feel icky and gross, it's something to stay away from. It's something you're like, I don't know why. You might be a complete mess in front of me, but I feel really good. That's also something to pay attention to um, in yourself 
as you kind of go through your day. So talking about presencing today and all the ways that you can be present for yourself as well as others, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you again soon. Take great care.